everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am bringing you this Galentine's Valentine's fun little makeup look as we are all going to be stuck at home for Valentine's Day. So whether you celebrate it, you celebrate Valentine's or Galentine's, whatever you may be doing on the 14th of February, or if you are celebrating a birthday like my brother, here is a little something that you can do to make the evening not so repetitive in lockdown. It's one colour on the eye and I've added a few gems and stuff just to spruce it up but I thought I'd do something a little bit more simple but effective. Before I get into the tutorial I just wanted to talk to you about today's sponsor. You guys know that I'm in love with this brand. This is Anna Luisa and they are a sustainable jewellery brand. They are amazing. Their pieces are handcrafted from recycled gold. They are carbon neutral. They offset 100% of their carbon emissions. Their pieces are just beautiful. You guys see me wearing them in my videos and know how much I love them. I'm so excited that they want to work with me again on this video. They are running an exclusive Valentine's sale and you can get 15% off on their website. I'm going to show you a quick close-up of the pieces that I've got so that you can have a little look. I've got these gorgeous huggy hoops. Now if you remember in the last one I actually had these other huggy hoops, these tiny 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 little ones and I just keep them in my ears. I just wear them all the time. I was going to pick up another pair as you know but now I have these ones so it means that I can wear both of these in my ears and I thought that I would wear them one beside each other and then I can pop in my Ana Luisa poops. I really like them like this just on their own. They add that little bit of something without it being too in your face and then this gorgeous necklace. Oh my goodness this is so sweet. You've got actually three different holes that you can put it in so it can be a little bit longer or it can be a little bit more snug or it can hang a little bit lower but I actually thought this was perfect. A because it is a little heart for Valentine's but B I thought that I could stack it with other ones. Do you remember this stack that I got before. I wear this all the time in my videos but I thought that that could be so nice as like a three. I looked at the chains and I thought that they would go. They are a fantastic gift for yourself if you want to treat yourself or if you want to get something for the one that you love whether that be friends, family, a partner. So these huggy hoops that I'm wearing with the current 15% off are £37. That is so good! And then this heart moonstone necklace at the moment with the 15% off is £56. If you wanted to go and grab a little bargain then do. They do have limited batches as well. They don't overproduce so that they basically have minimal waste. They have smaller packaging. Their pieces just come in this small little cardboard box here which is recycled and recyclable. As always come in the cutest little pouches so that your jewellery will be nice and protected. The pieces start from $39 so you can grab a bargain on there. Thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Please go and check them out in the description down below. Grab your 15% off while you can. Please give this video a like if you like the look of it. Make sure that you are subscribed with that notification bell on. And without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So I am priming my skin and I'm using a couple of brightening products under those eyes. We need it at the moment. I will leave everything in the description down below so you can go and check out any products if you want to. And another brightening product. Can you tell I was tired filming this? So I am using this foundation from Technics as my usual foundation has run out but it was a little dark for my skin tone and also full of coverage I thought. So I used the other side of the sponge just to make it a little less full coverage and also use this concealer from Technic to just brighten up the skin and then also went in with my RCMA no color powder to further brighten up those areas love it and then just pressed a bit more powder into the skin because your girl's oily and I do it on my brows as well as I don't put any foundation there but I just don't want them to get too oily and yes Yes, she's wearing a top. Uh, it always looks like I'm not in these videos, but I am. And once I have brushed a little bit more powder over the skin, I'm going into my Ye old Faithful Makeup Revolution, this I Heart Revolution, or I Heart Makeup, little contour duo thing. And I'm just contouring the skin as you normally would, the cheekbones and down the nose. And then I'm singing to Beyonce Irreplaceable here, bronzing up the skin just so we get a nice bronzy glow but not too bronzy like at the beginning. 
controlled bronze. Then it looked all a bit powdery, can't think why, so I just used my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to melt it all into the skin and then highlight it on top as it really makes it pop. And I realised I didn't actually use any blusher, so there we are. But once I had done all of the highlight, I did a little bit using a fan brush on the decolletage. And now we're moving on to eyes. So this is what I've done with my left eye. And then what I'm going to do with the right. So going into my brow zings, just adding a little bit of powder through the brows. Because sometimes all the powdered products, the microblading gets a little bit lost. So I'm just making sure that they are nice and defined. And priming the eyes, I'm going into this MUA super colourful palette using this pink to, this is, this is literally the only colour we are using on the eyes. And I could have used this when I was doing my Drag Race makeup look. Like, why didn't I think to use this colour? <laughs> anyway, um, once I have buffed that on to the eye, I'm using another fluffy brush. Now, this one is a slight angle to it. It's basically a perfect shape for me to buff it out and that is literally the only colour on the eyes. Now I'm tight lining top and bottom waterline, sorry if you don't like the look of this, and then taking that same colour under the eye but not too much um, because I didn't want it to be too too pink under the eyes, blew it out and then I'm using my Vive palette, yes I still haven't taken the sticker off, using these two colours, the brown and the black, just to get like a smoky wing. I didn't want it to be too like too much of an intense wing, so I was just mapping out the shape, using my nail to just sharpen up the edge and elongate the wing slightly. And I can't wink, I can't close my eyes, so this is always difficult for me, hence why my eyes are so fluttery. And then just went in with a pink again to just tidy up any bits, and that's why I really love using shadows for liner, as it doesn't have to be perfect but still looks good. And I'm highlighting my brow bone and inner corner, and then going into this beautiful pressed glitter, I think it's a pressed glitter, from the show, so, show, show jaded palette at Kathleen Light's Colourpop pop collab and then I'm going to just put on some mascara some lashes this is the first time I was using these these are from true beauty lashes in all things fierce and I did have to cut them down a little bit but bam there we are we love that I love that transition and these are the eyes done so super simple just literally one color you can do it with any color you like add a little bit of glitter you're done then I'm going into use these gems now we had a little bit of a uh, change up with the gems but hey here I'll show you the journey so because it's on makeup I use a little bit of lash glue to stick them on I used three of like the bigger ones alternating pink and purple and then I went slightly smaller and then for two and then slightly smaller again for two so you kind of got that little like effect there and it's kind of gone from big to small and then once I'd done that I wanted to use this heart I wasn't sure whether to go for the red heart or whether to go for this one which goes with the inner corner but actually you can't really see that it's a heart it wasn't as defined so I popped the red one on to see which one I preferred and I'm really pleased I went with the red one in the end I used this instead and these gems are just from Amazon and you get loads of them in the pack and there we are so I popped those on so pleased I went for them they look so cute yes now onto the lips I'm using 504 and 533 in the Kiko lip liner collection and these are so lovely and I just line my lips with the darker one to start with and I do the contour thing you know where you put the lines on your lips and make it look like you've got bigger lips than you have and then once I've done that I use the other one just to fill in now sometimes I will leave it there but today I wanted to have it all like nice and glossy and shimmery and a bit more pink so I'm taking this is from lippy ink and I know it's a bit dirty because I always use it on top of lip liner but look at that color oh it's so stunning and it just goes really well with this look and I want it to be nice and glossy and stunning for Valentine's or Galentine's Day. So I gave another little spray with the setting spray just for the eyes and that is the finished look. Here she is. Oh, stunning. She's ready. She is ready for Galentine's Day, honey. Anyway, I hope you like it. I'll let Chatty Hannah take over. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. Make sure you go and check them out. Check out their 15% off sale. Use the link down in the description down below. I've left it there for you if you want to go and have a little look and grab some gorgeous pieces. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, this look. I hope you have a fantastic Valentine's, Galentine's Day, whatever you're doing. Make sure that you stay safe. Spend time with the ones that you love, whether that be on FaceTime, whether that be in in person, a family member, a friend, a partner, whoever it may be. Fill your day with love. Try this look out. If you do, it is super simple but effective, then please tag me on socials. Please make sure that you are subscribed with that notification bell on because I upload twice a week and you don't want to miss out on one of my uploads. No, you don't. <laughs> please give this video a like if you liked it and would like to see more videos like this in the future and I will see you in my next one. Bye.